So uh, here we are. We want to do a little bit of bass fishing today. That's probably a good spot for us for the moment. Let's get out and see what we think. So bass fishing for Australian bass that is so in small creeks and rivers this is how I set it up so I've, I've just got two rods with me 10 pound and 14 pound I've got a dry bag that's got my keys wallet that sort of stuff in it that's strapped to the seat if you note I haven't got my big uh, tackle tray tackle box I've got almost nothing on there. I do have my side, side imaging sounder. I'm, I can elect to leave that behind depending on how shallow it is but I'm taking it today. I've grabbed myself a selection of uh, hooks, pliers, scent and some basic lures that will potentially work on Australian bass and they are gonna go here under the under the seat, it's real easy, supposedly. <laughs> they go there. And the only thing I've forgotten is my net, which I'm gonna need for the big one. So I'll need to grab that out of the car, and then we're gonna go launch it down the bank into there, and I'm gonna use my strap from the roof to help slide it down. All right, see you in a minute. So, same river today um, but I'm up near the mouth of the river which is up there and today as opposed to a couple of days ago I'm not fishing for bass I'm fishing for uh, whiting and flathead so I've bought along rigs so they go from 8 pound up to about 12 pound uh, and this time I'm utilizing the electric motor as well as my paddle which allows me to get from A to B much quicker but it also um, allows me to hold position better in current in deeper water and in the shallow water I'm going to use the power pole um, on the flats out there I'm not sure if you can see them but there's a ton of flats out there uh, the reason for this video is to show you the difference between a light setup and a, what I'd call a uh, heavier setup right? and how I've got it set up now so there's a fair bit more weight in it there's a lot more tackle there's an electric motor plus the power pole hi all late afternoon fish out here on the river just for a couple of hours and, uh, going pretty minimalist so I got nothing fancy with me Three rods. I do have the full tackle crate with light to middle size, small to middle size gear in it. Um, no motor, no nothing, no sounder. Just gonna wing it and see what uh, what comes of it. And uh, don't know. We. We shall see if there's anything even worth reporting on. Tethered the phone. Important. Always do that. Alright. Everything else is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Car's locked. Might put the bungs in here. So is it filling up with salt water? I hear a lot of comments of, um, from people on various chat groups and that that the uh, attack bow hatches are not watertight so this hatch here never was designed to be watertight folks that's the hot tip and because it never was 
It's actually designed to take um, dry bags in it, of which, uh, you know, wilderness make one, but you don't have to use the wilderness one. But yeah, it was built to take dry bags. So if you're worried about things getting wet, do what I did. Use a dry bag. All right, let's uh, see what we can get out and around here. The tide's going out. Like I said, it's late afternoon. We shall uh, play around with a few lures, see if we can't get anything to bite.